I don't know too much about it, but I've heard lots of negative things about it, and I've heard some positive things about it, and I think it's really good to form your own opinions on things, so it's good to see it kind of in the flesh and see it for yourself. Paul Simon. Which is an app They've got 20 tracks. We've got these booklets. Uh, they're five bucks for a booklet. Collection. Get the warm up with the Alberta oil sands arouses a lot of controversy, even though most of us have never actually seen it. But this week, some ecotourism and outdoor leadership students at Mount Royal University will have that chance. My name is Joe Pavelka, and I'm an associate professor at uh, Mount Royal University in the ecotourism outdoor leadership area within Fazed. We are getting ready to do our um, uh, annual expedition, and in this case, we're going on the Athabasca River from... Uh, Calling Lake up to Fort Mackay for about a 10-day period. Well, the purpose of this trip is to is to really enhance uh, the students' outdoor leadership skills. But in this case, I thought it would be a wonderful idea to also bring in the whole sort of broader socioeconomic aspect of uh, of uh, outdoor leadership and tourism. And I think the Athabasca River is a is a is a wonderful place to do that. And uh, there's a lot of pressure there, obviously, with respect to the oil sands, and then there's tourism, um, the, the whole Aboriginal First Nations component. Um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of elements come together on the Athabasca. My name is Finley McNeil. I'm a uh, fourth-year ecotourism student at Mount Royal University. What are you expecting to feel when you see the oil sands? Expecting to feel... Um, potentially disgust you know i'm ready for disgust um and awe i guess disgust and awe is probably what i'm going to be feeling we're going to spend a whole portion of, of the trip earlier on paddling through wilderness through boreal forest and then to come upon a huge big infrastructure like that all the the the, the open pit mines and the tailing spawns i hope that we get to get a good look at it but you know, the, I think it's going to be vast. So, uh, most of the Alberta population is clustered along like the southern border, and so there's a whole lot of the province that that most Albertans haven't seen. And and the tar sands are going to be historically a, a huge part of the history of Canada, of the world, of our province, of our city, and the impact of them on our everyday lives is is huge. But I don't think a lot of people are aware of that. Well, from what I've been told, it's just a big pit mine, kind of like diamond mines. Looks ugly and brutal, and I know lots of environmentalists are like, oh, that's horrible, stop it right now. The way I see it is, in 2008, the oil sands and oil and gas industry gave $12 billion in royalties. To be honest, I don't know that I have a set perspective on the oil sands. Everything I've heard so far is negative, but I haven't done a lot of research on my own. Um, so I think instead of changing my perspective on the oil sands, this trip might give me a perspective on the oil sands. I think I've developed a pretty well, well-founded and well-rounded opinion of, of the tar sands or the oil sands over the years, having been there before and done lots of research on oil and energy and society and, and lots of thinking around that. And so I think my perspective is pretty, pretty firmly set, um, but you never know. We're seeing such a healthy, uh, sustainable ecosystem and stuff like that here. Like a few fish are jumping, lots of birds and stuff, but I'm curious to see what it's going to do to it downstream. Sun to set. I hang my 
I'm Stefan, I'm coming from Germany. Uh, it's the dream of my life here to paddle the Athabasca River. Um, because you never find such a river in Germany. Take my body. Listen to this, people. This is this is the path that we have been on for pretty much all day. But I think the group is doing very well. I think the group is doing very well, and uh, that's all that matters. Fort McMurray now. It's about thousand, uh, thousand kilometers uh, downstream of Jasper. It was a wonderful trip till here. There were great experience with landscape, uh, people I met, and yeah, it's still amazing. It's great. It's better than than I thought about. Wednesday, September 1st, nothing to worry about. Renard downplays Athabasca toxins. Alberta's Environment Minister is playing down concerns about toxin pollutants in the Athabasca River, saying there are insignificant levels. It comes a day after peer-reviewed scientific studies suggesting just the opposite. What we have to do is determine what are the levels of which we need to have some concern, Rob Renner said Tuesday. Just a comeback, another comeback Far too orchestrated, far too calculated A conductor, you're just a conductor Point at me, and hear me speak the study released Monday confirmed toxic pollutants like mercury and arsenic found in Athabasca in northern Alberta are linked to nearby oil sands development. Rob Schlinder, on an ecologist at the University of Alberta and one of the study's lead researchers, said the pollution is in violation of the Federal Fisheries Act. With electricity just pouring through me, you're a habit, another bad. Keep 
biting my nails and canes All else fails for us We're actually security on yeah. Suncor site and you guys are trespassing Pointing at me and hearing me speak. I am security at some for you're trespassing on some for property with consent. Your unauthorization uh, present. Uh, yeah. Can you not record me, please? Yeah. The university researchers looked at 13 elements in the river water and snowpack along the Athabasca. They found contaminants of pollutants like mercury, arsenic and lead are higher. The closest samples were taken to oil sands development. Well, I think it's very important that people um, get more connections to nature, come back to nature. Seeing, seeing it in pictures um, doesn't compare to being able to, to smell it and hear it and see it. Um, and it's very, there's quite a contrast because we're going to be paddling in very remote, um, untouched wilderness, and then a day later you're paddling through the oil sands. Well, really, I, I think the, the biggest learning for, for all of us that were on the trip before was um, how much of a system we're a part of. And so you'd look at the oil sands, and, and part, of your, part of you would cringe um, at just seeing the kind of the destruction of, of natural forest. But then you'd look at the plastic canoe you're paddling, and you'd look at the gas that you're burning in your stove, and you'd realize that you're just a part of a bigger system. And so to, to look at that as, uh, as, you know, what can we do as a system to improve this and not put the blame on the oil sands and the companies that are extracting it, because they're extracting it for, for us, for a purpose. And so it's, it's making that connection, I think, was, uh, was a lot of the learning for us. Thank you.